and welcome to the 2022 Philadelphia Tribune Women of Achievement Celebration. Today we will salute African American women who have made great achievements in their chosen fields and have made an impact to the success of their companies and organizations they represent. Hello, my name is Rachel Ferguson and I'm the Chief Innovation and Global Diversity Officer at Visit Philadelphia. I am honored to serve as mistress of ceremonies of such an occasion. Today's honorees are following in the footsteps of trailblazers C. Dolores Tucker, Dr. Ethel Allen, Amina Young, Dr. Emma Chappelle, Blanche Burton Lyles, Audrey Johnson Thornton, and many, many more. We recognize women who are not only on their way up the corporate ladder, but also those who are already at the top of their chosen fields. It is my pleasure to ask you to join me in welcoming the visionary of this program, the president and CEO of the longest continuously published newspaper reflecting the African-American experience in the country, the go person when one needs to get things done in the city, the man who pauses annually to make sure that the Philadelphia Tribune and everyone else in the city pays homage to African-American leaders, movers and shakers, and the most influential African-Americans in the city. Please welcome the president and CEO of the Philadelphia Tribune, my friend, Mr. Robert W. Bogle. Good afternoon, and thanks to each and every one of you for being here today. Those who contribute for better outcomes often go unrecognized. The Philadelphia Tribune is once again pleased to recognize women who have made significant contributions not only to their respective organizations, but also to the communities for which they serve. We honor and celebrate this prestigious group of women, their accomplishments, and their unwavering commitment to success. We take great pride in acknowledging the honorees in this month's Tribune Magazine. Each of you exemplifies the reward of hard work without exception. On behalf of the Philadelphia Tribune, our sponsors, Comcast, Independence Blue Cross, Pico, Rivers Casino Philadelphia, Temple University, and Jefferson Health. We congratulate you and wish you continued success. Remember, our sponsors help make this event possible, and we encourage you to support these companies. Remember, support those that support you. And now please welcome Latricia Shepard, Executive Director, Impact and Inclusion, Comcast Corporation. and welcome. It's such a privilege to once again sponsor this amazing event. Today we come together to recognize the achievements of some incredible Black women who are lighting the way for a brighter future through their passion and purpose. At Comcast, we understand and appreciate firsthand the value of Black experience, and we're committed to celebrating it within our organization and on our platforms like the Black Experience Channel and beyond. We continue to be inspired by partners like the Philadelphia Tribune that are helping to showcase the breadth of Black culture and the many contributions of the women being honored here today. I'd like to give a special shout out to two of our very own team members who are receiving some well-deserved recognition today. Amani Scott Steffen, Director of Impact and Inclusion at Comcast, and Anya Lachelle, host of NBC 10's Philly Live. On behalf of everyone at Comcast NBC Universal, congratulations to all of the Women of Achievement recipients. Thank you all for being here today and enjoy the event. For more than 138 years, the Philadelphia Tribune has been dedicated and committed to telling the stories that reflect the challenges and triumphs of the African-American experience in Philadelphia. 
The paper has been the people's voice for freedom, justice, and equality. Today, the Philadelphia Tribune is published five days a week with a readership of more than 400,000. I encourage you to purchase a subscription of the award-winning Tribune. Sign up today by clicking the subscription link below. The paper acknowledges the people, events, and stories of our community. The Philadelphia Tribune provides timely and compelling news that is informative and relevant to the African American experience. Sign up today at phillytrib.com slash subscribe or call 215-893-5786 to receive your subscription today. Today, we celebrate and recognize some of the accomplishments of these extraordinary African-American women. These honorees raise the bar of excellence while influencing generations to come. They should be proud of their accomplishments. They have used their gifts to rise to the top of their profession, and the Philadelphia Tribune is proud to recognize their achievements. These women are educated, dream with their ambition, and lead with strength. Their talent has not gone unnoticed, not by the companies they represent. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's Women of Achievement honorees. Ms. Roshima Bates, Operations Controller, Rivers Casino, Philadelphia. Dr. Nikki Frank, Associate Professor, Temple University. Ms. Bridget O. Howard, Manager, Advanced Practice, Providers in Women's Health, Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania, Penn Medicine. Ms. Dixie James, President and CEO, Einstein Medical Center, Philadelphia, Elkins Park, Moss Rehab, Willowcrest, and Center One. Ms. Angela Bowie, Public Policy Manager, Lyft. Ms. Anya Lachelle, Lifestyle and Entertainment Reporter, NBC10. Ms. Angelina Perryman, Vice President of Administration, Perryman Building and Construction Services. Ms. Jackie Pettyjohn, Train Engineer, SEPTA. Dr. Sean Ross, Executive Director of Health Equity, Independence Blue Cross. Ms. Amani Scott Steffen, Director of Employee Engagement, Impact and Inclusion, Comcast Corporation. Ms. Maya E. Stewart, Manager, Public Affairs and Marketing, AmeriHealth Caritas. Ms. Monica Wren, Director, Human Resources, PICO. I now have the pleasure of introducing a woman who represents the true meaning of success. Lisa Crutchfield is an accomplished corporate executive, independent director, and energy industry thought leader with over 25 years of experience leading finance, accounting, regulatory, strategy, and risk teams. She is an experienced financial professional, having led financial planning, corporate finance, and capital allocation. Crutchfield was a pioneer of the electric and gas markets in a number of states in the United States and in Europe. She is an Ivy League trained finance and economics expert who developed innovative financing strategies to introduce competition into traditionally regulated industries. She applies concepts of finance and economics to aid companies in improving earnings and enhancing long-term shareholder value. Today, Crutchville leads the consulting firm Hudson Strategic Advisors, an economic and strategic advisory firm to the energy sector, utility industry, and other heavily regulated industries. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Lisa Crutchfield. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be able to speak with you at the Philadelphia Tribune's Women of Achievement Award Ceremony. It's been a little shy of 20 years since I've been asked by Mr. Bogle to make remarks at a Tribune event. I'm not sure if that meant I did an absolutely terrible job at the last one or if Mr. Bogle and I just lost touch. Nevertheless, I'm thrilled to be asked to join this talented team at the Tribune to honor a number of select women in our community for their commitment to making a difference. 
Before I share my thoughts with you this afternoon, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the important work Robert Bogle and all of the fearless and dedicated writers at the Tribune do for the African American community in the Philadelphia region. For the last 134 years, the writers and leaders at the Tribune have published stories and hosted community events advocating for African Americans. For over 100 years, the Tribune writers and executives have advocated for us to be represented and to hold leadership positions in government, business, and nonprofit organizations so that our community's needs would be addressed. And as you may know, Mr. Bogle has been publisher of the Tribune for 33 years. He's worked tirelessly advocating for the African American community to be treated equitably and fairly when decisions are made about resources in Philadelphia. If you saw the Broadway play Hamilton, you'll remember the old adage, I want to be in the room. That phrase refers to all the policy leaders who worked with Alexander Hamilton and their desire to be with Hamilton in the room when important decisions were made. Well, I've been in the room with Robert Bogle when he was advocating for the African American community to enjoy a piece of the economic and political pie in this city. I've witnessed him speak up in private meetings with the president of American Airlines and the leaders at the Philadelphia airport to ensure black owned businesses were represented. I've been in the room with Mr. Bogle and watched him challenge leaders in large corporations headquartered in Center City to make sure that we have access to jobs and supplier opportunities. And I've been in the room and been amazed at Mr. Bogle's prowess as he speaks to government officials about the needs of our children in the Philadelphia School District. So today, I'd be remiss if I did not thank Mr. Bogle and his compelling and prolific team of writers at the Tribune for all of their hard work. We are so appreciative of your honest reporting and your efforts to keep us informed as we enjoy the benefits of a well-functioning democracy. And if you'd indulge me for just a few more minutes, imagine with me what it takes to be a woman of achievement. You know her, that woman. You've seen her before. In your eyes, she's a woman who lives her life without limits. She appears to glide in the room. She walks with her back straight up and confidently, presenting herself as she enters the room. When she speaks, others listen. She's creative and innovative. She has great ideas about what needs to happen. She's the founder of the new tech company, the principal at your child's school. She may even be the minister you listen to every Sunday morning who speaks to your heart from the pulpit. pulpit. She is that woman we all aspire to be. It's my belief that each one of us, the women we're honoring today and the women attending this event today, we either are that woman or we aspire to be her. The woman who was living her true purpose and confidently with a sense of great freedom, exp expressing her voice and pursuing her dreams. So today, I want to encourage you to recognize that time is valuable. It's a valuable resource, like money, like diamonds. You must treat it like other valuable resources. Don't waste time. Don't waste time living the life others want you to live. Don't waste time in toxic relationships, in working environments that don't respect you. Don't waste time fulfilling the roles others want you to fulfill, like being the ideal daughter, ideal friend, ideal and amicable coworker, while all along those roles do not bring you the joy and satisfaction you deserve. Use your time to dream, to act on your dreams, to walk through your fears, and to fail and get back up again. Through this active process, your aspirations will begin to unfold. Your dreams for yourself will begin to reveal themselves, and your visions of your life will unfold much grander than you can imagine. Lesson two, 
Dream big. To dream big, you have to stop doubting yourself, letting your fears control your life and limit your reach. As a child growing up in Philadelphia, did I ever dream that I'd sit on the boards of billion dollar companies, that I'd actually sit at the apex of corporate America and provide them with my view of how a business should be run? No, but 12 years ago, when I was appointed to my first corporate board as an independent director, and after I became comfortable with my own voice and my own views, I grew up. I grew more confident. I had experiences to share with CEOs. I felt confident that I had expertise to contribute, and I became confident that I could add value in those corporate boardrooms. It only took a few years, and I now serve on five boards and have been recognized as one of the top 100 corporate directors in the country. To get here, I had to dream big. I couldn't allow self-doubt to control me. I had to propel myself forward and rely on my own inner voice to keep me motivated and feeling assured that I could be a successful corporate director. So, dream big. And finally, lesson three, be tenacious. Tenacious enough to overcome any resistance. A noted author, Stephen Pressfield, once said, most of us live two lives, the life we live and the unlived life within us. Between those two lives stands resistance. You and I know Resistance can be powerful. The formal meaning of resistance is any force that tends to oppose or retard motion. Now, we know if we're making pro progress in our lives, if we're getting close to achieving a dream, completing a project, somewhere along the way, we're going to face resistance. And you know resistance comes in two forms, outer resistance often presented by other people or inner resistance, which causes you to doubt yourself. So let's address outer resistance first. I believe we all have faced human resistance, relationships that discourage us from investing in ourselves, in ourselves to dream. The girlfriend, who may not be supportive of you going back to school. The husband who dissuades you from taking a new assignment at work because you may not be home every night to cook his dinner. Well, resistance can also come in the form of a boss who makes you feel badly because you made a mistake. But while other members of the team who make mistakes, he actually overlooks their human frailties and makes no comment. Well let me provide you with some advice about dealing with resistance. Whether it's your own fear or self-doubt, whether it's your hostile and bullying boss who concerns you, rely on your own voice, that inner voice to tell you the truth and remind you that your journey is about your dreams and aspirations. It's not, we are not here to please the world nor forsake ourselves. We're here to please ourselves and to be honest with ourselves. Always follow your heart and your intuition. Don't let resistance prevail on your journey. I'm sure the women we're honoring today have had to face a few of these lessons. Whether they face resistance and learned how to overcome it, whether they came to the realization that they were wasting time and sometimes money, or that they were on the wrong venture, working with the wrong people, focused on the wrong goal. Someone in their life redirected them, or their inner voice redirected them and told them to begin to dream big, and they adjusted and shifted their journey so that they could become that woman. I'll share a secret with you. It's taken me over 50 years to learn these lessons, and I'm still working on becoming that woman, the woman 
who is living her true purpose with a sense of great freedom, expressing her voice and living her dreams. All of the women being honored today, we applaud you. And I hope for all of you who are joining us today, you'll stay with me and travel along on this fabulous journey. Please be true to yourself and honor yourself on the journey of becoming that woman. Thank you. Crutchfield and congratulations to all of the 2022 Women of Achievement honorees. The Philadelphia Tribune would like to once again thank the sponsors who made this special presentation possible. And thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day.